young children use their attachment figure as a secure base for exploring and coming to understand the world. When they feel safe, they will venture out and explore the physical world and explore the social world. That sense of felt safety is a crucial aspect to feel good about moving out into the world. So building attachment is a matter of building connection. And that programming makes us resilient, sensitive to other people's needs, sensitive to our own needs, and a healthy, well-functioning human being. In secure individuals, we see that rich set of connections. When we talk about attachment, we're talking about the dance between a parent and a child. How well we're able to dance together will determine how well they're able to dance with other people later in life. We also know that my ability to dance with my child is determined by my past to a large extent. But we know that infants who become securely attached have parents sensitive to their needs. But here's the key thing. If they're separated, secure babies look distressed, but the avoidant babies did not look distressed. So they learn to mask this internal state of fear and anxiety, and that's the origins of the avoidant adults' experience. A person may do fine in situations that don't demand interpersonal connection, but when they demand that interpersonal connection, they begin to flounder. An ambivalent baby looks like a secure baby. They can be hard to distinguish. Both babies are distressed when the attachment figure leaves. The difference is what happens once they actually reunite. An anxious ambivalent baby, they want to be reunited, but once they're picked up, they may push away a little bit, or they may be stiff, or they may kick their feet. We know from research that parents of anxious, ambivalent infants have only been available inconsistently. Now, there's a fourth classification, and that's called disorganized. A disorganized baby has no clear pattern to the way they respond. The person who should be providing them security is a source of pain and hurt, and that shows up in their behavior. When attachment is derailed, we have kids who look angry, can't regulate their emotions. In TBRI, we talk about principles. Well, the connecting principles are designed to promote the kind of relationship that leads to secure attachment. And the engagement principles especially make a difference for children who come from hard places. So it's structure and nurture. But the good news is there's the hope that comes from knowing that this can be done. And the path is awareness. The path is mindfulness.